A week and a half ago, I asked you to help us vote to decide the final map projection for this project. The results were a landslide, unanimous across both the public vote and the private builder vote. You wanted to change the projection and you wanted to see it as a unique custom map for the Build the Earth project. But on Saturday, a day after the voting started, we were in trouble. The projection chat where we brought together some of our most ambitious and smartest people working on the project had come to a standstill. The people were voting for our custom edited projection in a landslide, but we had very little data on the math. Adam Bomb 92 the chief dev for Terra 1 to 1, was mostly trying to reverse engineer the projection from scratch. With very little progress and over 100,000 people waiting on us to find a solution, there wasn't much for hope that day. Between Adam Bomb 92 Nicodemo, and Joseph, the code wasn't making enough progress to see any degree of completion in the weak time frame that we had given ourselves. We were trying to keep our spirits up, understanding that if we couldn't come out with a projection in time, we could always just go with Mercator and explain it to the community. But the next day, someone was added to the chat that would turn the tide. Hikiko Mori and the others managed to find a detailed paper on the exact equations for the map projection. This was huge. Atom Bomb, revitalized by the finding, decided to start over with the bounty of all the data right away. This was the equations for the regular projection and not the conformal projection. The conformal version was done by a mathematician named Daniel Streb, who we were currently in email exchanges with but for only a week time frame, it wasn't happening fast enough. So while we waited for the conformal equations, Adam Bomb dove directly into making the regular projection work. With the correct equational data, Adam Bomb was able to engineer the conversion of terrain into Minecraft via map projection in not weeks, not days, but hours. The gargantuan task of transforming the triangles and aligning them properly for Minecraft terrain conversion was achievable through his genius and candor. Daniel Streb, who was getting regular email updates, was blown away from the speed of our progress. Since the group DM had a 10 member limit, we decided to create a private discord for the projection discussion and got him in the discord. The discussions between Streb and Atom Bomb that followed is some of the hypest sh** I have ever witnessed. The complexity of the conformal projection was greater than we had anticipated, but we now had one of the leading mathematicians specializing in math projections and one of the most brilliant coders in the mod making Minecraft community paired together in order to make the previously thought impossible possible. After a formulation of mathematical strategy and how to derive the conformality and then troubleshooting the details, the projections started to come together. By Sunday, it was updated in Jenkins and was playable. We quietly rolled it out to the community to test bugs for the next week. What we saw was incredible. The rhombusing of downtown sectors had been minimized, and the accurate scaling retained. After all of the work and all the hours over days and weeks put in by the primary members of the projection discussion, we finally have the custom projection that you all voted for, BTE Ocean. And the change from regular map projection to conformal map projection was a subtle but crucial obstacle to overcome. If you take a considerable look at this tissot of each projection, you can see in the regular projection the circles being stretched all over the place. But thanks to the more complex math of the conformal, this distortion is reduced drastically as you can see all of the circles in many pivotal areas totally line up. Daniel Streb gets all the credit for this. Without him, the terrain would have had a significantly higher amount of distortion. With this pivotal improvement to the land masses, we had finally reached the climactic point. 
from debating all the worldwide projection options to settling on two voting candidates to the despair of a lack of data for the more complex option to getting the data, achieving conversion for the regular projection, and finally, the subtle achievement of further reducing land distortion to conformal, we had fabricated a final product. So now we are ready. Head to the Discord, follow the instructions for installing the latest Terra 1.1 mod, which includes our new projection, and if you haven't already, follow the instructions on our Discord in order to apply for our building process. If you're bad at building like I am, the great thing about this project is every angle, right up to the detail and patterns, has already been built for us in the real world. We don't have to make creative or intuitive artistic choices. We just have to build it the way that we see it. Which makes everyone, including me and including you, a great candidate for this project. We want you, we want your grandma, we want as many people to share the gift of making this for the world as possible. And thanks to all the preparation and work from the projection team and the website team, we can handle it. Minecraft has 112 million monthly users. The capability of less than 1% of this number of builders all working together in force is so tremendous, it's difficult to even formulate a mental image. To harness that much of humanity's collective potential, or even just a fraction of this fraction, is a steep pitch, but building the Earth, one-to-one -one scale in Minecraft, is a worthy enough end goal to justify what we're asking. The people who came before us lived out the struggles of building human architecture. They built the cathedrals. They built the Great Pyramids, they built the Parthenon, all while having significantly less access to food, shelter, and quality life that the modern world provides us. Rebuilding their efforts in Minecraft wouldn't just be the homage to their sacrifice. It would be an artifact worthy to the history of our race, a symbol of our drive to create in the modern age, and a reminder to all who are born and all who live beyond us after we're gone that the enigmatic drive that brought people living in miserable conditions to create miraculous works of architectural marvel is still with us. We can do this. We owe it to the legacy of humanity and to all of those who lived in the past to continue to give to the future as they did. The Discord has 150,000 members. We want every single one of you. We have our final projection have our website that will automatically patch together the regions, and we have our will to live. So let's get to work. <laughs>